If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and GM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. So we have some breaking news right now, man. The Canelo Alvarez card versus Edgar Belanga has just gotten stronger, baby. <laughs> I'm talking about, bro, they just beat it up again. Those of you who've been paying attention to the channel, you already know that. They added Danny Swift Garcia versus Arizlandi Lara. Yes, Danny Swift Garcia is not only making his comeback, you know what I'm saying, a resurgence in the sport. He's also fighting his first time at middleweight division, the 160-pound division, where, where Arizlandi Lara has a title at. You know, he got a championship off of knocking out Michael Zarafa in the second round. But check this out, man. We've added another fight to the card, man. Caleb Plant, Caleb Sweet Hands Plant is also making his return to the boxing ring, man. My nigga. You know, initially he was supposed to be fighting Trevor McCombie uh, on August 27th, but that card was um, was postponed because McCombie uh, sustained an injury. Those of you that are familiar with the channel, like I said, if you keep it up, we dropped a video on that as well, how, that, how that's been postponed. But it was supposed to be headlined by Caleb Plant. And, uh, versus Trevor McCumbry and also have a Stephen Fulton returning since losing to Naya in a way. Uh, he was supposed to make his return on the card too. And this card was supposed to be on um, Amazon as a, as, as a, one of the free fights on Amazon Prime, you know, the Amazon Prime deal that they have with PBC. But instead, they have took that took, took that card or took that fight and placed it on the undercard of Canelo versus Edgar Berlanga, you know what I'm saying? So that's a pay-per-view card, card, of course, you know, the face of boxing on Cinnamon. But the interesting part of that is... One, <clears throat> Canelo is not known for having great undercards, right? In fact, he's infamous for ha not having the best undercards, you know, because he, he's a star. He don't really need to have great undercards to sell his uh, to sell his boxing events. But, you know, they're also having a battle with the same date with the UFC and their Riyadh season Noche card, you know, headed by Big Turk, sponsored by Big Turk. You know, they have a partnership effort with the UFC card that's having, um, that's headlined by Sean O'Malley. And, you know, Canelo said, I don't care, man. That's my date, bro. That's my date. I'm the face of boxing. I'm Canelo. I'm Cinnamon. I do what I want. If he come closer, I'm, I, I, I fuck him. You know what I'm saying? So he's doing what he's want, he what he wants, and I think this is just gonna just gonna add fuel to the fire. And I think this beef is real between Canelo and Turk. You know what I'm saying? Big Turk, not really, you know, not really real, but you know what I'm saying? As real as it gonna be, you know, in, in a business sense. And I, I definitely think that Dana White is punching the air right now because this just this is straight to the card. And I think that Canelo's out, uh, uh, turnout is gonna be great. Everybody's gonna tune out, turn out to see this. Um, everybody's gonna show up to see this fight, especially now you have Caleb Sweethands playing. No, those of you that don't know, you know. Caleb Plant not, was, wasn't just a former adversary of David Benavidez, whose arrival to Canelo, even though we didn't see that fight coming to fruition yet. You know, he's also a former adversary of Canelo Alvarez. In fact, Canelo Alvarez is the first and only person to stop Caleb Plant. But in, in addition to that, those of you that have been keeping up with the boxing news, you know, C Caleb Plant has been calling out Edgar Belanga as well. So you, uh, add, that, add, add that to the fray, you know what I'm saying? So this has a recipe for a great card. I think this is probably one of the best cards that Canelo has had so far. It's not even over yet. You know what I'm saying? So they could potentially add the Stephen Fulton to that card too and strengthen it even more and beef it up even more. You know what I'm saying? Beef, you see what I did there? Beef, come do the wrong, can I beef? Yeah, bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. I'm not a cat. I don't say now. <laughs> I'm just playing. Shout out to my boy Cinnamon, man. You know, I was one of my favorite boxers. And, and anyway, I could see Caleb Plant uh, uh, again on the same night. You know, I was also one of my favorite boxers right there as well. So yeah, man, we getting it, man. So. I'm, ex I'm excited to see who else they have in store. And I think this card is going to be phenomenal, man. I think the UFC is in trouble. Because at first, people were wondering, like, oh, man, you know, I'm nervous for Canelo, man. He's going to fight on the same night as uh, Big Turk and, and UFC. Uh-uh. Canelo's not playing, man. PBC's not playing, man. They are coming with it, man. I'm talking about they are... <clears throat> Locked and loaded, man. This card is going to be great. I'm looking forward to September 27th. This is, uh, sorry, September 27th. September 14th. This is going to be a great card, man. This is going to be a great card for and, and a great night for UFC fans and boxing fans. Now, if you're a fan of both, like my boy Dub, my boy Dub's a fan of both. He's going to struggle a little bit. He's going to have to have all the screens up. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> But yeah, I think I think Canelo's winning right now as far as that little beef and battle goes with Big Turk and uh, and and, uh, and and Dana White. But y'all, let me know what y'all think about that. Are you are you more excited for this card now? Now that it's, it's beefing up the undercard, having Danny Swift Garcia making a return. Uh, um, um, uh, I guess Arizona Lara. Uh, 
uh, Caleb Plant making a return. And then, of course, you know, you got the uh, uh, Puerto Rican and Mexican showdown re, uh, re- revitalizing that that um, uh, uh, age old drama and beef between uh, Mexicanos and Boricuas. You know what I'm saying? All, all friendly rivalries, all always friendly. Hopefully we keep it friendly. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. I think this is phenomenal. I think this is, hey, 2024 has been a great year of boxing, man. And it's just continuing, man. I'm just glad I'm here to see it, man. Thank God for that, man. Speaking of thanking God, remember with God, we could do anything without God. We're nothing. Y'all be easy. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.